I'm doing these direct uploads. I'm coming back in. I'm cutting them off before the shit cuts off on me. For the holes, I'm just going to have to do it, you know, where I make the video and then upload, you know, render it and shit and all of that. But it, it, fuck it. I'm, that's what I'm doing, honey. So just, you know, let's just roll with it. Um, so anyway, we would have, you know, the cake shit. And she, and when I gave her that and, um... I just felt some kind of way because I put it on that plate. And I, I so hate that they haven't kept up with that. But so many good companies and things like that have went down over the years, you know. And they don't have shit like they used to. It's just like my mother. She started when, um, let's see, when Brittany was born. Now, before that, with me, you know, it was the plates. And I cannot fucking stand that. This son of a bitch. Okay. Before <laughs> before that, with me, it was like ornaments, the plates, and then like lunch boxes and things like that. When Brittany came along, she would get that Barbie every year. Y'all know how to do the holiday Barbies and shit. And she would go out of her way because she would get pissed the fuck off. She would be like, you know what? My grandbaby is not white, no shade. She didn't say shade, but I'm just saying. I would like for my granddaughter to have a doll that resembles her. And she would go out of her way to find the the dolls, and Brittany didn't give a fuck about a doll, you know, and she's kind of got them and kind of holding on to them, and whenever I, I never got one of those cases for the dolls, things, but I, you know, the dolls, I'm going to get it, and get, you know, and set the little dolls up, but Brittany don't give a damn about a doll, but she would do that with him now, with her, now with Brent, with me, it was the ornaments, and how much we have the ornaments and things like that, and she would get like all the little boy ones or whatever the case may be with me. She would get um, any of the frilly or whatever. Is it good? Okay. He's eating the strawberry cake that my cousin in law brought over here. Yeah, we had a good time. Listen, my mother <coughs> and dad was here too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't think I don't talk about that. Y'all, I told y'all I'm a daddy's girl and I'm so much like him. To the point where it's just fucking ridiculous. And so, uh, my mother-in-law came over and her husband, which is, you know, uh, it's my husband's stepdad, but his dad, you know, nonetheless. And we were in there talking and shit. You know, y'all know when it's, when it's older man, they sit down and he sit with us. And my dad's back in the back room with my brother Bill and my cousins and things like that. Because whatever game was on, and I could care fucking less about any game that would be on. It pisses me off and zaps the whole motherfucking life out of me. Now, tomorrow, I will be watching because Louisville. Right. It's right. It's Louisville and Kentucky. The Wildcats and the Cards will be playing, and we are Cards fans. Now I have some cousins there. So. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's right. a personal thing, and we we'll, I watch it with them or whatever. Now, Dad's in there, but he's sitting in, and then, um, well, I just say Mr. Child. And, uh, well, you know, I don't say, like, I don't know. You know how you can call, like, your in-laws, dad, mom, whatever. Anyway, so he was talking, and he was a joy, and we talk about just old school. And sometimes, somehow we get into some shit, you know, and we talking about how things used to be. Now, I done got one street all the way wrong and then said, you know, back when, you know, I would try to tell my friends, now, you know, it used to be this was called Congress Alley. Y'all fucked up. Wasn't even the same motherfucking place. My mom was like, girl, you done told him that's what it was. That ain't it. That was somewhere else. So, Mr. Charles is talking and somehow we get into uh, how it was. You know what I'm saying? They had two rooms and shit. And I've been hearing my dad talking about that for the longest. Listen, dad be going into this shit about how they used to beat my grandma's great-great-grandmother. Had they had to beat her drawers and back when they didn't have the elastic in the crouch area and she was heavy. And they would get their ass to beat because they would be running with the motherfucker. Right, and the crouch would be hanging down to the shit. They'd have to take them and put them in the whole thing. Now, you know, him and mom had that in mind. And, and my mama used to say, you know them Congress Alley niggas, honey. 
you know, talking about my dad, you know, and dad would be like, well, she always thought, you know, they was up across and this and that and other, because y'all had motherfucking four rooms and we, you know, dad never said, we ate beans every motherfucking day, that's what you had was beans, and if you could, you'd get a fried pie or something, you'd take some sugar if you had it, and put that over some butter. So, mama would always say, you Congress ass, you Congress alley ass niggas, y'all didn't have no damn electrical and shit like that at my, Jesus. This is kind of shit that goes on, but they be joking or whatever. So, we got on the thing of the indoor plumbing. You know, mama was like, well, we had indoor plumbing. You know, dad would always say, well, we didn't have no indoor plumbing, so they were shitting outside. Yeah, these people, they got to remember, this is 1940. Uh, early. Oh, much earlier. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, even, right. Damn. So, wasn't even born in 1940. right. <laughs> so, you know, they talking that. Mama's like, well, shit, we don't know nothing about oh, that. You know, <laughs> we don't know nothing about it. And we did without shit, and, you know, but we didn't do like y'all did and this and that and other, you know. So then they got on the damn bath shit. And Mr. Child said, well, my brother, I take a bath, and then my brother, y'all check this, my brother would get in that same water, and we got in the tub, they bring the big ass tin shit. But he was like, that's what you had to do. And instantly, my mama chimed off and said, yeah, I remember that, but then, of course, she was like, well, we would just kind of redo, you didn't want to, but you redo the tub and shit, but it was times that they did that, the girls did and the boys did, you know. Honey, I was cooked. Dad said all of them had to use the same tub. It was like they was trying to fucking outdo each other on how now we was much poorer than that. Now you might have had some bread, but hot damn it, we just didn't have shit. <laughs> we just didn't have oh, shit. We ain't eat shit. We went out there and ate bark off the street. Y'all, they was trying to one-up each other. And Mr. Child said, well, you know, I would have fish and duck. And I said, oh, well, that was good. You know, and then I instantly said, I instantly said, well, I, you know, duck is a little greasy for me. And the last time I had it, it wasn't the owl, it wasn't sweet crisp. He said, yeah, I would duck on the table and fish for crumbs, y'all. It was just such a hoot. And just hearing all of that, you know, and then the whole shit of, well, shit, we didn't have and we had to and you wore the same shit, you better put some motherfucking cards in the bottom of them motherfucking tennis shoes that get a hole in them. Them motherfucking oh, shoes is for everybody. The damn pair of shoes was for the whole motherfucking next generations that come behind them. It's your time to wear the shoes. Y'all. The shoes, shoes. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm hearing this and, you know, you begin to appreciate just how but things have changed, right? Right, and I'm like, wow, you know. And I love to hear that kind of shit. I just absolutely love it. You know what I'm saying? And just hearing that and this and that and other, you know, it was a different time. But you know, hearing the stories of, you know, I did this, and and Dad would say I would steal pies out of the windows and shit like that. <laughs> Mouth hot the motherfucker know he gonna get his ass beat to death. Right. He said, you know, if our mothers, if they had that child protective shit back then, they'd all been under the jail. And you know, just listening to oh, that, yeah, that I think so too, shit. And they always gotta tell mine, dude. Gotta tell me, y'all don't know how good you got it. You was able to say, no, nah, I don't wanna wear that coat. I don't want that shit. You better be glad you have a motherfucking coat. Shit, one time my mama said, I said, Mama, I don't like them kind of underwear or some shit like that. She said, Girl, I had two pairs of fucking drawers. For the longest it was, you know, one pair you took, you know, you had to wash them holes out every day. At some point you had to take them out, and that was the end of your day, and you come in and you wash them motherfuckers. Everybody know they got to wash the drawers. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if you had one fucking outfit or two outfits. The motherfuckers was going to be clean and fucking pressed. You know, and I said, she said, well, honey, I had, and you just got it, and I don't know what, I know what it was. I wanted some of them drawers that had Monday, Sunday, and Tuesday on it. Right, and she said, well, they'll show tell the truth on your ass, won't they? You 
know, but she said, girl, I didn't have honey. You had wrist amount and shit, you know, and talked about how my aunt would go and make change for them. Now, my mother's mother passed away while they were young, and they had to fend for themselves. And so she said, well, my aunt, would, my, my, my sister would go and press her, you know, and shit like that to get a little coin or whatever. You know, needless to say, later on in life, all of them were successful or whatever, and it is what it is. They fought and they made it through and this and that and other. And it was just, I don't know, y'all. I wanted to share that with y'all because... Stop, Boo. Just what the hell are you doing? I don't her? know. What she doing? What are you doing, Boo? Stop her full of stunts. Shit. What are you doing? Tell her fiery ass over her. Come on. Oh, long. Anywho, y'all, I just felt nostalgic and wanted to share that, and I just... Soak up all of that. Whenever I hear, I, I just love to hear the good old days and this and that and other and all of that. And wish that, you know, I could have been in that time. Oh, Lord. You know what? The last one video, you belt some motherfucking iron red. And then after that, said, put some gravy on it. But you was talking. Yes, you did. No, not yesterday. We were talking about something else. And you did do it. We was in the midst of talking about that motherfucking turkey. The Griswold turkey. And me too. No, not yesterday, honey. No. <laughs> uh, I ain't even gonna put your dirt out there. There wasn't no dirt shit. Mm -mm. Yeah, my baby was stuck. No, it wasn't he wasn't stuck. Was stuck. It wasn't no mm -hmm. I was like, why are you so motherfucking delayed? Anywho, y'all. Yeah, you were. You was paying extra yeah, attention. <laughs> Now you just got so many baskets of shit, I don't know where all that shit is. <laughs> I can motherfucking throw over that shit. I don't know where I went. That her shit is weed. Now you got a human head around somewhere. Whatever. Whatever. Anywho, y'all, I'm out of here. Much love. I'm just rambling. I just wanted to share it with y'all. I don't even know. I just wanted to share it. Y'all may be like, bitch, I didn't want to hear that. I want to hear so about What the really? I can share my shit. I'm out. Much love.